Alright guys, so it's called Z Shift. Let's see what this is about. Please explain further. Let's see what you're talking about. This is supposed to make a little bit of Oh, look, you're invincible. They use a very little of your uh, V gauge, too. That's good, dude. That's really good. That's good for Abigail. We're gonna have to use like a DP, though, but it's still pretty good, though. I wish they had a move that, like, you can dodge back and then hit them or something like that. Or you can dodge back and punch them automatically. That'd be nice. So you can do it anytime, okay. And yeah, you're invincible. Okay. Yup, invincible. Sweet, dude, you're invincible. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's godlike, dude. That's good, dude. The slow motion makes it look kind of cool, too. That's cool looking, dude. That's a good mechanic. Dude, yes! V shift break. Okay, okay. That's what we need, dude. That's, that's exactly what we need, okay. That's gonna help off characters like Gil, Abigail. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome, dude. Okay, so this seems like, uh... It seems like it's gonna be kinda like... It's somebody's gonna replace a V trigger, perhaps. I don't think I'm gonna have V-Trigger in this anymore, guys. They're not gonna have V-Trigger in this. This definitely seems like, uh... Oh, you backdash in the corner, too. Okay, I was wondering that, too. So this is gonna, this is gonna change the whole gameplay for everybody, because if you notice, it brings the bar down, but it brings it back up. That's not even half of your V-Gauge. That's not even half of your V-Gauge. This is gonna make Street Fighter a, a god-like game. This is gonna make Street Fighter a very good game. And they brought new combos, too. They got new combos in the game? Like, that stuff like that, dude, that's gonna be galley. So people are gonna have to fight more safe. You can't just go willy-nilly. You can't just be going willy-nilly. This is gonna bring a completely different perspective to the game. Yeah, they gotta do combos. You have new balance and stuff like that as well. Okay. So they might make a lot of top tiers low tier now. I really like what they're doing with this, dude. That's like Visco that he is using a combo. He broke his guard right there. Okay. He broke his guard right there. What can he do? Oh, he can... He Oh, he can be, uh, be trigger out of his, uh, his spin attack. He's doing those in combos. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing a lot with this game, man. I'm very happy with the V-Shift, dude. Did she, she can combo on that now. At first, I don't think she can combo on that. First, if I'm wrong, I don't remember her combo out of it. Dude, they're doing a lot with this game. I'm definitely gonna try this game out again. Oh, he's pulling... Oh. So you still like you can use your V trigger and moves now. What? That, did I just see that? Wait, wait, wait. What? They're doing actual. Wait, you can put your V trigger a part of the moves it seems like now. That is grand, dude. That is grand. So if someone's really tough with the pressure, you can back dash it out. If someone's trying to zone you, but the question is, can you move forward? If you can move forward, it's a whole new Street Fighter. You can only back dash, which is still good. It's not a whole new Street Fighter. It's coming out all oh, the 22nd of this month. Dang, that's lame. I know they had a Dan thing as well, but I don't, I'm not gonna act like I care about Dan enough to watch it for you. I'm not gonna be like, oh, super excited for Dan, well, I don't care. I, I do care about this and I care about Rose, but I don't care about Dan enough to do that. I don't, I'm not gonna BS you guys. I want these reactions to be as authentic as possible, but I just want to talk about this V, this V shit, man. It definitely seems like, um, Definitely seems like a game changer, dude. It really, really does. Um, can you cancel your testing like punch and sh punch and sh that'd be got like. But maybe you can only do it. From, I think he said you can only do it from neutral. I think about it. You get a new training room as well. That's cool. You get a new training, so you get something. You get some free stuff. I heard there's a guy named Twelve or Eleven. 
I heard there's a, a character named Eleven in the game as well. I don't know if the devil got to pick him up. I love the fall back in third strike. So, man, this is this is awesome. They're definitely doing stuff. Now, if they have... What is this? He might be a skin, though. Yeah, Dan, Rose, Oro, whoever that new chick is. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at Rose the most. Rose is by far my favorite character out of all the DLC. This seems lit. I'm definitely going to pick the game up and start streaming again. I might start streaming it again today uh, just to get the fill back to play this game again. I'm definitely going to repick this game back up. I'm going to start streaming it. Um, but this V-Shift, dude, this is something. Guys, we got to think about V-Shift. This seems godlike, man. It definitely seems like a game changer, man. Well, people just be going on you willy nilly, just, just mashing buttons. Pow, baby. Pow. That's godlike, yo. I cannot wait for this. Bang. Loving it. Oh, but you can buy it now, though. Yes, I'm simultaneously reading it while talking at the same time, guys. Yes, I agree. Dude, this. this this is a big update. I definitely say if you're not, if you anger at Street Fighter like myself, try it out, man. You know, that's the whole point of these updates, right? I'm already so deep, I bought the DLC already. Yeah, yeah, we gotta wait, I know. Wait till after the tournament you guys are having. Alright, well that was a pretty good, man. Anyway, I'm gonna get my final thoughts on this V-Shift. And that's gonna be it for the video. Yo, you guys noticed something, right? This dude got two arms. This dude has both his arms out. Hold up. Let's check this out, guys. This guy has both of his arms out. I think he lost his arm in a fight or something like that. I think he lost his arm uh, in a battle. I kind of forget. Yeah, he has both of his arms, dude. So, they're finishing a lot of these characters, man. I can't wait to see where everyone's V-Shift is. So all those Vega players that keep doing those backflips, backflips, hopefully they fix that stuff too. Maybe I'm talking about scrub stuff, but that was hard for me. Backflip, that was so annoying online. Maybe it's an online thing, but that was so annoying. But with this V-Shift, it definitely brings a whole new perspective. There's no more getting scraped in the corner anymore. There's no pow, pow, pow in the corner anymore, you know? You don't have to take the D anymore in the corner. Now you can actually fight your way out of it. People just can't go willy-nilly. And I'm, I know I keep saying that, but I'm so excited for that. One thing I hear about Street Fighter was that you just pow, 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 no defense options, get beat up, get beat up. Whoever gets hurt first, whoever falls off first, you're going to lose. If you don't have a DP, you're going to lose. But now, you don't need a DP. This game is way more balanced, it seems like, man. 2021 seems to be a pretty good year for gaming. Uh, we don't have any new, like, fighting games out, but I do like this, these big updates that they're doing with these games, especially Street Fighter. Street Fighter is definitely stepping it up with this V-Shift. Uh, DLC characters, you know, this Arrow game's doing that, but change the whole mechanics? Like, a big mechanic change? That is something that I'm interested in. They're also seem like they're extending the combos, uh, which I'm really, really happy about. Some like you can combo out of your V skill. Maybe not all characters, but some like most characters can do it. I think that's a really big game changer as well. V skills are actually gonna be more useful. You can build more meter, so you can have more defensive options. I think that's a very good idea as well. Um, like I said, Abigail will be pulling out tires, so that'd be funny if Abigail could combo with the tire, like legitimately, you know? Uh, like he actually doing full combos. Uh, I guess his other V skill is a, is a counter attack with his chest, but you guys get what I'm saying. I really want to see them bring more stuff. I want to see the game more action packed. I want to see them bring more Marvel combo uh, heavy into the game. You know, not to be like super combo heavy like Tekken, uh, but I do want to see a little bit more like combo stuff. I want to see like everyone's doing the same combos because they're too afraid that someone else would, you know, figure out a cheap combo. If it's combo's too cheap, then simply patch it. A lot of people make their own combos. It's like they're kind of doing that a little bit, a little bit more free will in the combos. Um, or just make the combo do less damage, something like that. But don't make it where like, like Abigail, right? Your punch will go straight through him. What are you doing? It looks stupid. It looks bad for the game. So it's something like they're really fixing a lot of that stuff. They give you more defense options. They made the game more um, in depth. But at first, it was just like Akuma Akuma. What is top eight? Akuma Akuma Karen. You know, it's like Karen, uh, um, Rashid, Nara, like the same characters over and over, and over again, right? So, but now it's so like, with these defense options, you just can't go willy-nilly. You can't just go in on somebody. G's also a top-tier character. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about this dude. Uh, I think that's going to pretty much finish for the analyzation of this video. If you guys caught anything that I did not catch in this video, please let me know. I forgot to tell you guys to so like, subscribe, and comment if you got this far in the video. And uh, there's going to wrap it up for this video, man. 
This game comes out on the 22nd of this month, February. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the changes in Marcel. More than the characters, I'm excited for the changes. I'm ready for this game, dude. Let me know if you guys are ready for the game in the comments below. I think this is going to wrap it up for this video. And remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. I'll see you guys in the next video. What do you think of that disc?